In this video, I'm going to do some live coding to show you how we are going to extend this program here from our starter code to create a program that uses an expression to calculate our age when we type in our year of birth. Now, our starter code gives us an output message which will display year of birth, and then it gets the input from the user and assigns it into a variable called birth year. So I've got that here in my development environment. Yours might look different depending on which one you're using. However, the coding's the same. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create an expression that will calculate my age from when I give it my birth year. So I need to think about what calculation I need to do there. And what I need to do is I need to take the year that it is now, and I need to take away from that my birth year. Now in my program, it doesn't store the year that it is now. So I'm going to put that in as a number into my code. And then I'm going to use the subtract symbol. And I have a variable here that stores my birth year. So I'm going to use that in my expression, birth year. But what will happen here is when it sees birth year here, it will refer to the birth year variable there and see what's stored in it. And the only thing I need to remember when I'm doing an expression is I need to store that result somewhere. So I need to assign this to a variable. So on the same line, I'm going to go back to the end of the line here and I need a suitable variable. This is going to store my age. So age equals that will do this expression here, 2021 minus whatever's in the birth year variable, and the equals means it will assign it into the age variable. So now all I need to do is I need to output message, you are age, don't forget the commas here, years old. I've put the UR and the years old in speech marks because they are string literals. That means it is text that will appear exactly as it appears in the code. I've not put age in speech marks because it is a variable. So this will refer to the age variable here that has had 2021 minus the birth year stored in it. Now, if I run that, you'll see it starting to run down here. Year of birth at the bottom. Um, how young do I want to be? Let's go 1990 and pretend that's accurate. Press enter. And I will get error. You will see up here that I've used my debugging tool to store, to, to track my variables. So I can see that birth year now has the year 1990 put in it, but that's given me an error. It says type error unsupported for int and str. That means that when I'm trying to do my subtraction, this is an integer, a whole number data type, but birth year apparently is a string text data type. And the reason for that is because input here, whenever you get input, it treats it as a string. Even if you input numerical characters, it treats it as a string, which is text. And you can't do 2021 minus some text. So what I've got to do to fix that here, where I'm getting the input, is I've got to convert that input into a number, a whole number, as I collect it. So to do that, around the input command, I'm going to type int, and I'm going to open a bracket, and then I'm going to go to the end of that line, and I'm going to close another bracket. What this does is it gets whatever the user types in. This bit then converts it to an integer, a whole number, before it's assigned or stored in the birth year variable. So take a good look at that for a moment. Look carefully at where I've put the brackets because it's a common error. Lots of people forget where the brackets go. So now let's run this. Watch my variables again. It'll show you what date values are stored in there. 
running down here, year of birth, let's go 1990 again, make me nice and young, press enter, there we go, it stored 1990 in birth year, which it did on line two, it stored 31 in age, which it did from line three, it did 2021 minus birth year, which was 1990, that equals 31, and then it outputted, you are age years old, and you can see here it says you are 31, so it's age, it's referred to the age variable up here, and got that 31 and put it into the middle of my sentence. So that's our live coding demo for how to create an expression like that, a calculation, how to assign it into a variable, and then how to use that variable in output. And the only other thing I did there was if I was getting a number input, I converted it to an integer where I got the input.